this is Alex. I'm a patchwork nerd and today I am going to be showing you how I set up my bullet journal for the month. And I have had this bullet journal since about October of last year and it's just a continuation of the bullet journal that I started because I wasn't going to just start a brand new one for the sake of it being the new year. So I am going to show you guys how I'm going to make my spread for March. It's going to be a little experimental this time around because I'm going to be trying some new layouts. I was experimenting with doing more of simplistic yet colorful, is that what we want to call it, style of setup and I want to keep experimenting and I just want to keep trying new and exciting things and always shake it up and of course I always want everything to be as colorful as humanly possible because that's just the way I live my life so this is probably going to be a very colorful spread uh, as per usual with the rest of my stuff. Let's get ready to go and let's see how this turns out and hopefully this video turns out halfway sort of kind of decent. The first page we are going to start with is actually secretly the least favorite page of mine to do just because i find it extremely tedious and there's so much room for error and that is the monthly spread page. I always feel like I'm gonna screw it up and I'm gonna try a new design and hopefully not completely ruin the look of the page because I've done before where it's like pretty much fills out the entire page and I've tried it where I've cubed it off and I've also tried designs where I just have a line and as much as I enjoy the way this looks it is a pain in the butt to create and also I feel like I'm always going over into the days because there's nothing boxing me off and keeping me in place and I have a bad habit of just kind of going wherever my heart desires so we're gonna try this and we're gonna hope for the best. So just to start out, I am going to be marking the pages with where I'm going to be putting the boxes and I'm just gonna be counting out the bullets and hopefully that turns out decent and I don't mess that up. I decided to have a go at something possibly experimental or possibly not earth shattering at all. I always do these dots to help mark off the different days of the week. I'm thinking about just leaving them as dots with the numbers in between and I want to see if maybe that would be better than just the dense blocks or how I feel like there's not enough separation with just the line going across the top of the week. So I want to just experiment and see and if this falls flat on its face, well it's not like I'm putting this on the end internet for everyone to see. I just want to take a moment because I'm probably going to fast forward through most of this, but just want to warn you, if you came here for pretty calligraphy, I'm so sorry you're going to be disappointed because my handwriting is atrocious and I've been trying to practice and be more mindful of my handwriting, but I have naturally shaky hands. I just have a very rigid style of writing. I tend to press very hard and I tend to just lock my arm when I'm writing, so it doesn't lead to the prettiest handwriting. I hope you're okay with that. And if you're not, there's plenty of other bullet journal tutorials to get you through. Alright, so I just turned the camera off for a little bit so that I could put in the numbers and I got so lucky it turns out this month ends on a Saturday so it's a nice clean line, nice clean spread. So now I'm going to just jazz this up a bit and try to make it look pretty. I also have a giant bag of stickers that I use to help spice things up so hopefully I won't go too sticker happy. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. I might experiment more with drawing and I also want this to be more of a note section so let's let's start experimenting people let's see where we can go with this I 
so I created this just like introduction to the month page that I like to do at the start of every month and I just randomly came up with the words grow a garden from curiosity because I put all these lovely flowers because I'm really itching for spring like so much so I just wanted this to be just very full of life and kind of the opposite of winter and I just really want to keep exploring being curious and trying new things and not being afraid to experiment so I thought that this little tidbit that I came up with was very fitting. I don't know if somebody has ever said this quote before. I'm sure somebody has, but it came off the top of my head. So I'm sorry if there's someone that needs credit for that. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is this is the spread where I list out everything that I do in the month for topics for writer's patch, the videos that I do, and all the shenanigans that I get into. So I'm gonna create that quick and I can only record so much footage. I'm, I'm on my iPhone doing this, so I'm just gonna leave you and when I come back it'll be done so let's go all right so it's not the most inspired spread but it's more about functionality with this page because this is where I record what the topic is going to be for writers patch every week and then the writing videos that I'm going to make as well as the non writing videos and as you can see with the writing videos they actually have a set date I always post new videos on Mondays oh no oh no Okay, I put the day Wednesday. I don't know why I put Wednesday. I always upload new videos on Mondays. So I'm gonna have to rectify this. And this is why you keep lots and lots of stickers on hand so you can try to cover up the mistakes you made. Let's see what sticker is going to fix this problem. You? Yes, you are going to make it all better. I'm probably not going to edit this out. I'm going to leave it in because I just want people to know that like there are so many beautiful perfect bullet journals and I always felt so self-conscious about those and that's why I almost didn't want to start a bullet journal because I was like I can't make things perfect like they are in other people's videos but my dad always and i said this in my other video but my dad always said the best artists can take a mistake and make it look like they did it on purpose so if you're new to bullet journaling or you're not quote unquote the best at bullet journaling that's okay because one of the really cool things about being creative is trying to figure out how to work with the limitations that you have or the mistakes that you make along the way i do that all the time with my writing where i might like royally screw something up but i remind myself but that's okay because it gives me a new challenge. It gives me something new to try to do and try to obtain. So we're going to go double check. So Monday is the 5th and Lord help me if I write the wrong date again. So the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and finally we have the 26th. See, that doesn't look so bad. Doesn't look so bad at all. Maybe it looks like I made a mistake, but you know what? That's okay. I'm really happy with the color scheme and how just pretty this turned out. And I use these adorable dinosaur stickers that I actually got from Sophie Carlon. She is someone I support over on Patreon. She is this amazing YouTuber. I think she is way too underrated and that she doesn't have as many followers as she deserves. So I will leave a link in the description below to her channel because she is one of my favorite YouTubers, but I support her on Patreon and she sends little letters and thank you cards. And she sent these adorable stickers in my letter all the way from Australia. I can't tell you how cool it is getting a letter from Australia. So I thought they would be fun to just breathe some life and give kind of a cartoony feel to this page. So now we are going to move on. You'd think I'd be doing my weekly spread, but I am actually going to be experimenting a little bit with a gold tracker. And I've never done this before, so we're gonna hope for the best. And I don't know if I'm gonna film the whole thing because oof, duh, this is probably gonna take me a while. So I had to stop recording for a bit because my camera died and I record on an iPhone, which is on a selfie stick. You know what, we're just working with the limitations that we have. So I did a few pages cause I just didn't have the patience to wait for it to charge. And my charger is not long enough to get it to the location where I'm filming. So while I was away, I filled in some of my monthly goals as well as events that I have going on in the month of March which I think 
turned out really cute and sweet. And then I also went ahead and I created this page that I am so happy with how it turned out. It is a habit tracker and I found on Instagram the author V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab had done a similar type of tracker where you fill in a square for every day of the month that you fulfill that goal. And I was like, I need to do this. I'm a very visual person so I knew I needed to see something to kind of help me get a fire lit under my butt. So I have to write every day, to read every day, to meditate, to journal, to hydrate. So that's to drink like the average amount of water, which I believe is eight glasses. Walk the dog, yoga, or work out in some way, shape, or form. And no social media, which is probably going to be the hardest one to do. But I really think from the sake of my mental health, there is going to be a few times this month where I am just going to go on a hiatus and give myself a break. Over here, I am tracking the books that I'm going to be reading for the month. Freelance work, I have a goal to try to get at least 10 freelance opportunities this month. And then my social media tracking, because my social media has been growing quite a bit and I sometimes lose track of where I was at at the start of the month. So I want to know where I start with these social medias and I want to know where I end up because I want to see what's going on with this and how things change throughout the month. That leads us to the final spread that I am going to do and that is going to be the first week in March. I'm going to do that weekly spread right here and then we'll be done for now. I actually don't do like weekly spreads for the entire month one because it just gets to be a little bit much because I try to like get all these types of pages done in one day and it kind of by the end of the day it's like okay let's just get the one done. Also I like changing my spread as you might have noticed. <laughs> I change my spread quite often the different formats so I want to make sure that I am finding something that works for me before I settle into a month-long commitment and I have yet to find a spread that I find absolutely perfect for the type of work that I do and the type of goals I'm trying to reach so I'm going to just experiment again with a brand new spread I found a lovely one on Pinterest that I really want to try and I will link that below so that way I'm giving credit to the original creator of that spread but if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments down below. Also remember to give this video a like. It's my first time doing a bullet journal and I'm so, so excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters because I have been talking for months and months about how I wanted to start doing bullet journal videos and their support and encouragement is the reason why I'm doing this today. So, so much thank you and love to all of you guys. Of course, I will put their names at the end of this video, just giving them a shout out that they absolutely deserve and I hope you guys enjoyed this look at starting my bullet journal for the month and until I see you next time I'm just gonna do my usual outro which is keep writing keep laughing and most importantly keep encouraging each other and in this case keep creating because there are so many fun things that you can do I hope you guys enjoy this last little look at me setting up my bullet journal for the month toodles All right, so I just wanted to give you guys one final look at the finished spreads. This is actually the day after. Um, there was a bit of a technical issue that resulted in a handful of clips being deleted, and clips of me drawing things, clips that made it look like I actually worked on this bullet journal. So I just wanted to quick show you guys my monthly spread and how that turned out. And of course it has my quote, be wonderful you, which is from my flaws video that I posted last week. I also have, again, my spreads here that I showed off in the previous clips and my habit tracker and also other tracking and also the finished weekly spread and guys, I think we might have found the one. This spread just absolutely I adore because it kept things very clean and concise and I also fit in this monthly calendar here and I have the little boxes that I fill in when I finish a task. I have this section that I decided to put journaling in to help encourage me to do more journaling and then I also have this note section and I just put a little reminder to myself to center my week around action 
action and to always keep moving forward because one of the words that I'm trying to like encompass for the year is the word action. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm always moving forward and I'm not just sitting and planning that I'm actually doing the things I need to do. That is just a final look at this wonderful spread that I created. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and joining and I will see you next time.